Okay, so the task is very simple. This, um, this circle needs to move around the screen and the main camera is going to move up and this circle should also move up with the camera. So let's see how we can do this. I think that I will probably use the camera movement and control script that I've just written. And I will probably also move the player character at the same speed that this camera is moving. So let's see how that goes. I think it should be like 0 0.25 units per second. So let's see how we can handle this. Uh, or we can also reduce or increase the speed. So let's go ahead and start doing it. So over here, I'm just going to code. I'm just going to, in fact, write the summary. I'm going to uh, write over here. This script will be used to move the camera and the player towards towards the top of the screen this is the requirement for the game to be played by the by the client the objective is to move and avoid obstacles that will come in front of the player okay so now that we have that, we're just going to have a region over here. Define this as movement uh, functions for movement. In fact, functions for movement. And over here, I'll have a header. Call this a functions for movement. And over here, I will have a reference to the player's transform. And I'll just call this transform player character transform. Okay. So in order to test this, we should completely. In fact, I should have a have a reference to the rigid body two D reference to the player's rigid body. Okay, player character player character rigid body two D. Okay, private, private, void, move, camera, and player, character, towards, upwards, in fact, write that. Over here, we will have a serialized field, private, float, movement, speed. Okay. This will tell the game how fast the player character will move and the camera will follow. Okay, so I have to move the camera as well. So let's take a, let's just get the transform. So transform, uh, transform, camera transform, camera.main.transform. Actually, it should just be transform. So, getting the transform. In fact, I shouldn't even be using this. I can just use the property directly. In order to make to make sure that this is actually called, I will just write Unity functions over here. Tab didn't work for some reason. Now it's working. Okay, update. So in fact, it should be in fixed update. Fixed update. Move camera and player quick upwards this function will be used to move the player character and camera upwards we'll get the rigid body of the of the camera so serialized field private rigid body 2d camera rigid body 2d reference to the camera rigid body we have that okay now that that's done i'm just simply going to move it upwards so uh camera rigid body dot position vector tree up that's fine and we're going to simply write that over here so github copilot automatically completed this for us and we're going to move on to the next next task let's see if this works so i have to attach rigid bodies over here 
Once that is done, I also have to set the gravity scale. This should be kinematic. Okay, no, no gravity scale, that's fine. We have to put the camera over here and the player character over here. And that's done, let's see what happens. Okay, it's moving a little bit too fast. Let's uh, make sure that the speed is slightly slow. 0 0.15. Okay, that's probably a little bit bearable to, in order to test how fast we're going. We're just going to get a quick 2D um, square over here. Call it test obstacle. Once that is done, I'll just uh, quickly just grab a rectangle, put it over there. Um, make it go over here. It's going to be an obstacle in the game anyway. So let's see how fast this goes. Okay, so that's a little bit too slow. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Increase the movement speed to 0 0.25. Let's see how much, how fast this is. Uh, again, too slow. I think we should make it 0 0.65. Let's see how much, how fast this will be. Okay, so this is fast enough. I'll get the feedback from the client. Let's move on to moving this player character so that the player character can actually dodge this. So first of all, we need to get the upper and lower bounds of the main camera. So right now, test uh, test the player character is minus 3.5. And if I go over here, let's see how far it can. Okay, so it's going to be that. Okay, so now we need to make a new script. I'll go to writer. And then I'm just quickly going to start writing. Um, hmm. okay, so it's going to be player control inside of here, uh, player character movement with mouse. Okay, now it's going to be excuse me, a script that will be used to move the curve player character with the mouse within the bounds that we have set according to camera okay so this is going to be functions for movement and i'm just going to go ahead and create unity functions over here and it's going to be fixed update All right that's done and then this is going to be move player towards the mouse position this function isn't created yet. We're going to create it over here. Private void. There we go. This function is called in the fixed update to move the player character towards mouse position while also keeping it within the bounds of the, of the camera. Okay. So over here, we'll need header. This is going to be functions or movement and over here we're going to have reference to the uh, players or right, let's have a reference to the player to body first and you're just going to have it over here there you go and now it's going to be serialized field private uh, rigid body 2d ref uh, camera Camera rigid body 2D reference to the camera's rigid body 2D. Okay, so now we're going to get the mouse position. So getting the mouse position in the world. There we go. And once we have that, we are going to then, again, I do not know what it's saying. All right. 
So, getting the ca reference reference to the camera at the start. Okay, this should be over here. It's done. Okay. All right, so that's done. Now we have to towards. Uh, no, move the pair character towards the mouse position. Okay. Oh no no no! Immediately, we have to move it immediately, so it's not going to be. Yeah, there you go. Now we have to set the bounce. So. We have to make sure that the bounds is correct. So we have to first calculate the position. So this is actually not correct. So we'll see the position. So let's take a look at the bounds. So the mouse position, mouse position wall.x should needs to be clamped. So mathf.clamp. And this is going to be mouse position in world. And I think GetUp Copal suggested it correctly, but I'm going to check this once we get over there. And this is going to be very simple, straightforward. Okay, let's go to Unity and check. All right, so player character and two and minus two. Okay, let's do that. So two and minus two, minus two and two, setting the clamp or mouse position in the world. So this is actually, this is not correct. Uh, is it correct? Hang on a second. The mouse position in the world should not be, hmm, actually this is not, this is not correct. This is fine, but we need to make sure that uh, the x value is okay since the x value is not changing, but the y value is actually going to be a little bit. It's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit tough. So the y position is going to be mm -hmm. okay. I figure out what I need to do. Only for x. And now let's take a look at um, the position of the of the of the camera of the Y of the Y position. Setting the clamp for the mouse position in the world for Y. Um, using the current position of the camera. Okay, let's see what GitHub Copilot suggests. Actually, this is not bad. They, they, it, has, it is very close to what I want. Of course, it wouldn't know what the values are. It's 3.75 and plus 3.75. There you go. So we have that. All right, that's done. Okay. Uh, we will only run this if the camera value has been assigned all right okay time to test okay there we go main camera is there player character is there let's see All right, this is fine. All right, so if you have it, that's it. That's 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 the that's the entire. That is the entire control for the game. That's it. We are done.